Recall the time Nicki Minaj dished out some sass towards me? That fuss was merely the appetizer. Nicki was gearing up to unleash the full gossip buffet in her upcoming documentary, laying bare the saga of her and me. But then, Meek was like, hold up, not on my watch, and slapped her with a cease and desist. Effectively sealing the lid on that tea kettle, Nikki was fed up and blasted Meek online, posting some pics of him looking a bit funny and accusing him of being rough with women. She said, you're just doing this for the likes and the retweets, acting all tough online but scaring women in real life. Meek said he never hurt a woman and tried to drag Nikki's brother into this mess. Then Nikki went all in, saying Meek was even mean to his own family, hitting his sister and even disrespecting his mom. She said, you tried to act tough by dissing Drake, but move on, dude. After Nikki said all that, a video surfaced from her unreleased doc where she talked about how Meek made her feel less than and kind of bullied her. She said that experience made her doubt herself to the point where she was afraid to even make music. It's like she let one person drag her down so much, she forgot who she was. So, a few weeks back, Nikki hopped onto her Queen radio show to clap back at folks who were all up in her business saying she should have married someone as rich as her instead of Kim. What the f made you? Take your little ugly, stupid phone out. Snap a picture of this man minding his fucking business. Gene Nelson has officially had his mic firmly cut off because he don't know how to act. Why do you think I'm mean to new boy? I feel like I've been running from commitment. I'm gonna keep it, but I wanted to cry and then die. <laughs> While she was at it, she spilled some tea about why she and Meek called it quits. Turns out, she threw some shade his way, hinting that Meek might be keeping some secrets about his love life, especially about being into guys. Nikki was like, I'm not naming names, but so many of y'all's faves are secretly not who you think they are. Some are hiding who they really like, some are in toxic relationships, and some even struggle with eating disorders. And get this, about a year ago, she was live with Soldier Boy and out of nowhere, she's asking him to spill the beans on rappers who were on the down low. Soldier was hesitant, but Nikki was all, I know a few of them and all the stuff they've been doing. Right after she said that, everyone started whispering, thinking she might be talking about Meek Mill. Then, Nikki mentioned how back in 2021, she was all set to drop this bombshell documentary on HBO Max. It was supposed to uncover all sorts of wild stuff happening in the music biz, including her past with Meek and his buddies like Diddy. Oh, speaking of Diddy, Nikki once had him as her manager right after her Pink Friday album dropped, but she ditched him real quick. And while some said it was because he wasn't helping her career enough, Others think it was because he was trying to drag her into some sketchy parties. Nikki tried to warn us about Meek's sneaky behavior years ago. She was pretty open about some not so great things he did, but it seemed like everyone was too caught up in their dislike for her to take her words seriously. And now, the internet is having a field day dragging Meek through the mud after it came out that he and Diddy may have been more than just buddies. This whole mess blew up even more with the whopping $30 million lawsuit against Diddy by a producer named Rodney Jones, who's claiming Diddy made him do stuff he wasn't cool with. It's a whole lot of drama, and it looks like Nikki was trying to warn us all along. So, Rodney Jones spills the tea big time about some wild stuff that went down with Diddy. Picture this. Diddy convinces Rodney to crash at his place to work on some music, right? But instead of laying down tracks, Rodney ends up seeing things that seriously freak him out. He's like, dude, Diddy spiked my drink and got way too close for comfort more than once. And just when you think it can't get any crazier, Rodney dives deeper. He talks about these massive bashes Diddy threw where everyone and their mom seemed to show up. We're talking Diddy's kids, Christian and Justin, Meek Mill, Young Miami from City Girls, and even Usher. Yeah, it was that kind of party. Rodney's there, not exactly in his best state, and claims Young Miami had her cousin do some pretty messed up stuff to him. Then, he sees Justin and Diddy getting way too friendly with some girls Young Miami brought along. And get this, Rodney accuses Christian, Diddy's youngest, of crossing a serious line with a lady at that party. But wait, there's more. Rodney drops another bombshell saying Diddy bragged about hooking up with Meek Mill and Usher. And he's not vague about it either. 
He calls out Meek as the Philly rapper who dated Nicki Minaj and Usher as the R&B star who killed it at the Super Bowl and has a hot Vegas show. In this wild lawsuit, Rodney's basically saying Diddy told him all about his flings with these big names and even promised Stevie J a Grammy for some reason. And if that's not enough drama, Rodney also throws in that Meek got cozy with one of the girls at the party. It's like a soap opera over there, and Rodney's airing out all the dirty laundry. Meek was caught hanging out on some big fancy boat with young women and people who get paid for adult stuff. Everybody was pretty grossed out when they found out, because it showed Meek was deep into some shady stuff. Then, folks remembered that Nicki Minaj, his ex, had already called him out on similar things before. Back in the day, people thought Nikki was just being salty after Meek laughed at a joke about her man, Kenneth Petty. This joke was a silly pick making Kenneth look like a dummy in a store window. Meek, being kind of spiteful, liked the joke on social media. Before this, Meek had already thrown some shade at Kenneth in a rap song and even had a scuffle with both Nikki and Kenneth in some fancy shop. Fast forward, Meek tries to shut down the documentary with a legal move making everyone wonder what he's so scared of coming out. Since then, Nikki's been pretty quiet about the doc, which has everyone thinking the industry's been trying to keep her from spilling too much tea. But now, it seems like the truth about Meek and Diddy is starting to come out, thanks to others speaking up. People online have mixed feelings. Some are like, Nikki tried to warn us, and others are all, Nicki Minaj never lies. But hey, what's your take? Do you think Nikki was about to blow the lid off some major industry secrets with her doc? Drop your thoughts below, smash that like, and subscribe for more.